Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Player of the Month Bundesliga Words card to review today. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right. When it comes to the Player of the Month cards, guys, uh, EA usually releases them pretty early in the morning and Giyu is usually asleep during this time. So if the uploads are a little bit later, uh, please forgive me and Giyu because uh, obviously the man needs to sleep because he works and stuff too, okay? So uh, with the Words Player of the Month card, we're taking a look at someone who is five foot nine. High medium work rates, four star, four star while being a right footed player. Uh, so, some pretty good stuff so far. In game player traits, he has the outside foot shot traits and the flare traits. In game attributes, we're working with 96 for acceleration at an 87 for sprint speed because of the hunter chemistry style that we are going to be giving him. Now, the reason why I'm going to be giving him the Hunter Chemistry style is because I do want to test out uh, his base card characteristics from the dribbling stats that he has with the other stuff that he has, right? So he's five foot nine, average body type, right? So that's the type of stuff that you do have to take a look at. Now, with this card, you could potentially give him a Shadow Chemistry style if you actually want to use him as a center mid and give him some defensive stats, but. It doesn't really look like that type of player because the defensive stats are not that high, right? So it definitely makes the most sense to probably just give him a hunter and try him out from there. Because his shooting is going to be at a 94 for finishing and an 85 for shot power. Uh, long shots at a 79, but his volume is pretty high and so is his attacking positioning. Considering the fact that he also has a high medium work rate. Uh, base card stats for passing. Uh, set up really nice in the card, especially with the 4-star weak foot 86 composure. Dribbling, like I said, we will be experimenting with in-game. Because he is five foot nine, so it could be helpful, right? Body types, I feel like... They're not as bad as last year, right? Like last year, if someone had an average body type, like it was chalked most of the times if they're like a main attacker. But with the game this year, it could be a little bit different, right? Uh, and then he has 93 for stamina. So with words, guys, we are going to be using him in the 4-2-3-1. Uh, the one that we usually use, actually. So we're going to put this over here. Sane switch here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Okay, so this is going to be on stay back. We just put a random team together. It's so, like not a big deal that they're not the perfect players in their positions. Come back, come back, get into the box, come back into the box, and come back. Tactics, I think, I forget. I think it was like 50 and 55, and then this is balanced, balanced, and then you're on 60. I think it was like that, right? Like on a five? It was something like that, five or six. Five or six. Okay, let's go try him out, see if he's any good. Okay, I'm just trying out his dribbling a little bit right there. You definitely tell that it's not like the most agile from the first touches, but it might not be a huge problem. Instant run from the pass off there, okay. Look at that defensive play right there. They still do the bounce off though, EA. You guys said that was in the uh, patch notes, but definitely just did it right there. I don't know if it's that one specifically, actually. But um, we'll see what they say. His, his attacking AI is actually pretty nice. Pretty aggressive in certain spaces, which I do like a lot. He is doing that consistently right now, which is dope. that angle oh good finish wow okay hmm. you actually moved into the side position there right eh? oh that was weird i think the game's controls were a little bit off right there ah oh, no i should have gone for a shot cancel quickly that was my fault yeah, that was a little bit strange though because I saw him making that aggressive run, so I wanted to shoot, but I think because he made the, ch the challenge, it like reset my command. Finesse from there? Ooh, imagine. He's making really good runs. Um, I am noticing that a lot. On a Hunter Chemistry style though, I do notice his base characteristics for dribbling. I guess it is because of the body type um, and the base dribbling stats. So good interception there. But, um,. The card is pretty cool to use so far. I do like his attacking AI a lot, like the way that he's moving across the pitch. It's very nice. Oof. 
It's nice though, it's nice. Very controlled uh, accelerated touches, which is cool. Accelerated touches is like when you hold uh, R trigger in the exact moment to just get a little bit of a sprint boost. Oh, I try to get the driven angle there. He didn't actually do the driven shot. It was like a regular strike, so that's why it didn't really come off, but it was a good attacking play. Yeah, his attacking AI, guys, I do like a lot. I like the way that he's moving across the pitch. Very aggressive when he needs to be. Sees the space really, really well. This card actually has a lot of potential if he gets like some sort of team of the season in the future for those dribbling boosts, you know? Oh, I try to. Trying out some of the skill moves and stuff with him. Yeah, see that movement? It's really nice, man. I love that aggressive movement. It's so sick to work with. Oh, I try to get that driven shot angle right there. The defender came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's just the dribbling that you do feel from time to time because of the Hunter chemistry style. It could be a situation where you may want to give him an engine, but I don't know, man. It's That, that shooting boost is like... A, a lot of the times people will give Hunter chemistry styles to most of the cards because they just want the shooting boost and they want to work with the base card stats for dribbling, right? Uh, but I am noticing it being like a hindrance from time to time. Okay, guys, so I am curious. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give him the engine chemistry style instead. I want to just, I just want to see if it makes like a huge difference for responsiveness, right? So let's just give him the engine and uh, we'll see how he plays with that. Y'all will just collect that with words. Already starts the movement here. Oh, that's a force pass. Like I just, I'm looking at him specifically, but. Nice. We'll take that. We will take that. Good little play there by Diaby getting inside the 18-yard box. Wirtz makes a decent run there. Yeah, it's unfortunate about his uh, base card stats for dribbling, because honestly, this card on a Hunter would be crazy with good base card stats for dribbling. Yeah, see, I forced that for sure, but I just wanted to kind of test out the run. Oh, hello. Really close to the goalkeeper? Yeah, I have to do a shot cancel there. The thing is, though, man, is that in this game, I don't really... Like, giving the engine, it's nice. Like, you do notice it for sure. But, like, it just feels pointless for this game, right? Like, you might as well just give him a hunter and play to his base characteristics. I felt the same way when I was using... um. Who was it? Uh, Kareem Benzema's card, right? Like, you just might as well. Like, if the card doesn't have the base characteristics for dribbling, like, it's chalked, man. Unless it's like Ronaldo or something, you know? Like, Ronaldo, the way that the engine kind of, like, boosts him up, it's nice, you know? But that's because his base card stats for shooting is already really high, so... Yeah, uh, you know what it is, guys? Uh, this is good for, like, future player reviews, because if I realize that I don't really care too much about someone's base dribbling characteristics unless it's like Cristiano Ronaldo because like I said his shooting is already set up really nicely uh it's really pointless to give him an engine honestly it was the same with Benzema when I tried him out finesse from there oh yeah the player from behind Jeez, what a block <laughs> but yeah he's so much better with the hunter though guys Guys, that's not to say that his dribbling is terrible. It's not terrible, but, like, you just wouldn't use it in the top divisions. You know what I mean? Yeah, just give him a Hunter, guys. I, I, just so pointless, man, to give him an engine. I'm just trying out some of the dribbling angles. Oh, hello! Oh, I'm gonna get this one, though, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get I got the shot cancel angle. I did get it. But uh, I had to go to the top left side right there. Oh, the defense.
offensive play. Let's go. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened right there. We'll take it. You know what's the thing that's kind of like saving this card a little bit with the dribbling? It's the sharp touches. Like, he definitely has it. He definitely has it for sure. Nice! We'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, I thought he scored that. I was like, cheese, bro. Okay, chill, my boy, chill. Oh, wow, from an angle, too, eh? From an angle, too, he hits it like that from a power strike. How much is this card? Like 50k on the mar or 50k as an SBC? You know what, dude, for a hunter? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, man, it's just, he just has, like, you know what it is with the dribbling? It's just, he has just this small emphasis to it, right? The emphasis to it is what kind of, like, messes with it for some of the attacks, right? But that's me, like, forcing certain plays. Like, I'm talking about, like, top-tier meta cards that can just boom, boom, boom really quickly, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the card is so much better than Hunter, guys. Like, don't even bother giving him anything else. He actually helps me out defensively, too, from time to time, believe it or not. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Player of the Month words card. So how much does he cost? 54k. 54k as an SBC for this words card for German Bayern Leverkusen and Bundesliga links for a cam that is 4-star, four 4-star, four star, has really good attacking AI, mostly on a Hunter chemistry style because you notice it more on a Hunter because of the fact that you're boosting attacking positioning by a little bit, but you're also giving him the acceleration and sprint speed boost, right? And I'll be honest with you guys, it is fantastic to work with. I do like it a lot. On an engine, this card is incredibly pointless, in my opinion. I don't really like using... I don't know, man. Like, this year with base characteristics, like with dribbling, it just feels really pointless to um, to give him an engine. It's the same thing with Benson, man. Like, you might as well just give a Hunter, just play them to, to what they are, right? Uh, with Holland, I felt like I had to give an engine, to be honest. Like, that one was a little bit too low, but... Uh, you know, there's going to be like some cases here and there where that's going to be the case, right? But yeah, the only thing that's off with the card is base characteristics from the dribbling stats, right? And it's mostly going to be in the reactions area, I think, right? Because agility, balance, that kind of stuff is not in a bad area. It's the, it's the reactions at a 73 that you notice from time to time, right? But the card is still very cool for 50k um, as an SBC for the Player of the Month Bundesliga, especially for the links that you can work with. You can totally use him as your more attacking-oriented center mid if you really want to, but just be mindful that he doesn't have like the craziest defensive stats, but he has a little bit of it, so definitely possible to use him there as well. Um, it's not a card that you would use in the top divisions. Like If you're good enough at the game, obviously you can make him work, but it's not a card that you would use in the top divisions, but it's a pretty decent SBC, to be fair. It's just not one that I would complete myself uh, personally. But yeah, this card has a lot of potential this year, man. Because if they drop some sort of special version for him, I can see him being a really, really good card. Especially if they boost the dribbling stats by a lot. So we'll see what EA does with this card in the future. But genuinely, that's the only thing that I notice on the card. Attacking AI is great. Shooting came off really well. Obviously, with... Um, Long shots at 79, it can be a nuisance from time to time too. It's always nice to have good shooting everywhere. But uh, yeah, I would say those are like the two main things, to be honest, because finesse shots are still pretty effective from outside the 18, so you could definitely still hit them. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.